Hello. So today we're going to be talking about Karger's algorithm, um, but before we get to that, we're going to talk a little bit about kind of what the problem is that Karger's algorithm is trying to solve. So there's a general category problem called the min cut problem, and what that is is trying to divide a connected graph into two disjoint connected graphs, uh, which are subgraphs of the original. Uh, so let's do an example, uh, just to kind of show what I'm talking about. So let's make ourselves a little graph. I'll pretend that's a node. So let's, let's go like this. And let's give our graph some edges. So there we go. We'll call that a graph. Uh, so in the definition above, this would be our graph G. And what we want to do is we want to break this into some subgraphs, two different subgraphs, uh, which are some of the nodes, but not all of the nodes. And those subgraphs should be connected too. So one example uh, would be, let's say, removing these three edges. If I did that, then I'd have one subgraph here, which is connected to itself. It's just one node, so it's obviously connected everywhere. And then another subgraph that's all these nodes. And so in the definition above, we could call this one S1, this one S2. Um, but you might be noticing this is using three edge cuts. That's not as few as possible. So the min cut problem is saying, which two subgraphs um, should I cut this into so that I have to cut as few of these edges as possible? Uh, so let's, let's take this uh, cut back. And instead, you might see that for this graph, we can cut this edge and we can cut this edge. So we can cut only two edges. And that'll let us divide it into these subgraphs, which are still perfectly valid connected subgraphs. We can call these S1, S2 instead. And with this cut, it only costs two. And as it turns out, this is the, uh, the min cut for this graph. So min cut equals two edges. So this is the problem that, uh, that Karger's algorithm is trying to solve. There's uh, an older, more classical example of how to solve this, which is called max flow min cut. So this is the traditional algorithm that was around before Karger's algorithm, and it's still used in some places. It has a few characteristics. So the first is that it's deterministic. You are always going to get a min cut uh, when you run the max flow min cut algorithm. 100% uh, of the time you're going to get it. But that comes at a cost because it can be pretty slow. Um, so the the runtime of this uh, max flow min cut algorithm can be optimized. And this is kind of the best best possible case for this, is um, or the best possible optimization uh, for the worst case of it, is the number of vertices times the number of edges squared. And as you can imagine, that, that can kind of get pretty big. That's uh, It's not on the order of n cubed exactly, because these are different quantities, but you can think of it pretty much on the order of, uh, uh, of that kind of scale. So Karger's algorithm is a way to kind of get around those downsides. So Karger's algorithm is a little bit different. So let's just write that Karger's algorithm. All right, so Karger's algorithm is a randomized algorithm. So what that means is you never know for sure whether you're going to get a min cut out of this algorithm. You can give it a graph and say, give me the min cut, and it knows that there's some probability that it'll give you the right answer, but it's not a sure thing. Uh, so generally what these, what randomized algorithms will do in general, and Karger's algorithm is no exception, is they'll run a lot of iterations of their uh, probabilistic algorithm, see what the answers they get are, and then just choose the best one from all of the potential answers. Um, so because it's randomized and because we don't have to guarantee that we're going to give the right answer 100% of the time, it's a lot faster and it's a lot more efficient than the max flow min cut algorithm. Uh, so if, it's, if you have a use case where you can 
afford to have just a small probability of a wrong answer, Carger's algorithm is going to give you big improvements. So let's see how Carger's algorithm actually works. Um, so it, Carger's algorithm depends on some operation which is called contraction. So what contraction is, it's between two nodes. So I'll write between two, or contraction is the contraction of an edge. Technically, it's not between two nodes, it's the contraction of an edge. Um, so what it means when you contract an edge uh, is that you pull together uh, the two vertices on either side of the edge. So let's actually just go through an example of contraction. So say I have some graph. Uh, let's just do four nodes. So say I have this graph. To contract an edge means to bring together the two nodes on either side of it and merge them into one node, keeping all the connections the same. So that's a lot of words, but let's, let's go for an example and say I want to contract this edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this node right here, and I'm going to take this node right here, and I'm going to combine them into just one vertex. So that'll look like this. So all the other non, uh, non contract, uh, none of the edges that aren't involved in the con uh, contraction, and none of the vertices that aren't involved there, none of those are going to move. So these two are going to be the ones that I'm joining. So I'm going to join those two nodes into a single node. And I'm going to keep all the connections the same. So you'll see I have a connection from here to here. And I have a connection from here to here now. So those correspond. Uh, let, me, let me use a different color for this. This guy is the exact same as this guy. These edges are the exact same. All I did was bring it over into this new contracted model. Um, and also we still have our old edge there because it wasn't contracted at all. So the operation of contraction runs on a given edge and pulls in all of the uh, the edges that used to point to either of the two nodes on the side of the edge that was contracted. Keep in mind, if you had multiple nodes, um, for example, a node going from here to here as well, then that would also get brought over as another edge between these two nodes. Uh, so with this contraction operation, we tend to get multigraphs. So a multigraph is just a name for a graph that can have multiple edges between any two vertices. Uh, so as you can see, if we incorporate that here, that's what we get. And it's important to keep track of these, uh, these multiple edges, because when we're returning the min cut from Carger's algorithm, we need to know what the original edges that we were going to cut. So even if these get contracted in our modified version, we still need to know that, hey, we're actually going to cut this one and this one in our original graph. So that's the operation of contraction. So now that we know what that does, let's go through uh, Carger's algorithm. And this is actually a really, it's, it's a pretty simple algorithm. So here's what we did. So for starters, we need some graph. So a graph has its vertices V and its edges E. So what we do here is we say, we loop over all of our uh, edges. And we say, well, the number of vertices we have is greater than two, pick an edge, let's call it E in this example. Pick an edge, oh, that's a terrible E. Let me, let me draw another one. Pick an edge E, that's a beautiful E, um, from our set of edges, which is this guy up here, just all the edges in our graph, at random. So just pick a random edge from your graph. And then after that, contract E. So that's just the operation that we went through up here, where we smush the edge and any edges with it and bring the two vertices that it connects into one new vertex. Then that's all we do in here. So we keep doing that over and over and over again until we have only two vertices left. And when that happens, return the only cut left. So when we have two vertices, we're only going to have one cut remaining. So 
uh, you can this kind of makes sense if we continued our example up here you can see after this let's say I did another contraction uh, let's say I want to contract this edge this time I'm gonna contract that guy so I'm gonna bring this guy's gonna be the same but my top two nodes join into one so this guy just gets smushed but this node right here gets kind of redirected and connects to the new merged node. So at the end of that operation, now we'll have a multigraph which connects two nodes with three edges. And then in Carger's algorithm, I have two vertices left. So I'm just done. This is the cut that I'm going to be returning. So you may be noticing, though, this wasn't actually the optimal cut for this graph. This has three edges, but I can see just right here. If I instead had cut this edge and this edge, then I could have had this and this as a subgraph. Uh, so that's kind of the randomized aspect of Carger's algorithm. It doesn't work 100% of the time. The main benefit is just that it's fast. So what you'll see most of the time when you're running this algorithm is you'll do multiple runs of this. I'll do maybe one, two, three, four, five. And each of these will start with the same graph. So now you get the picture. Each of these will start with the same graph and do their own version of randomized contraction. So this guy might contract uh, this node, for example, whereas this one might contract this node. And that'll give you two different second level graphs. Uh, so uh, what happens when you contract this node? You get two nodes right there, one node right there. What happens on this guy? You get kind of a similar thing, just, just in a different order. So you can see already these are really different graphs. Like these, the cuts here are not going to end up to be the same. So eventually each of these uh, each of these five runs is going to give you some cut. Each one is going to be at a different length. So let's say this guy gives you uh, size equals three. This has the cut. This guy gives you size equals two. Let's say this guy gives you size equals four. I'm not even sure that's possible with this graph, but let's just say that happened. This guy gives you size equals three. This guy gives you size equal two. So what you do with Carger's algorithm is you run it a bunch of times just because it's so much faster than the maximum min cut algorithm and you just pick the best cut. So here I could pick this one, I could pick this one. Either of those is gonna be what Carger's algorithm tells me is my min cut. And so that's kind of the beauty of this algorithm is that you can manipulate it by running more, uh, more trials or um, some things that we'll talk about in future videos. Um, but it's just, it's just a good way to get a really high confidence but not 100% confidence guess for what the min cut for a given graph is.